In order to find the right mentor for you, first of all, you need to diagnose your problem. You need to understand what you do you need help with. Is it your messaging? If it is your messaging, working in a group container may not be beneficial for you a hundred percent because your messaging is unique to you. Also, if you have problem with closing people on the call, let's say people book calls with you, but they don't close on, on the call and they ghost you. Then again, it's not about watching another video how to do high ticket closure. It's about somebody sitting down with you and practicing with your consultative sales. Have you ever been in that situation when you sign up for a coaching program and there is a course, like there's some sort of module, there are videos, there are a bunch of videos that you have to watch and two scenarios. Uh, one scenario, you don't have time to watch videos because let's be honest, if you run a business, you're a busy entrepreneur, maybe you're a mom, maybe you work nine to five, maybe you work with clients. Listen, I don't know about you, but I do not have the whole lot of time to watch a video. In fact, when I sign up for a group coaching program, things kind of slow down in my business a little bit because I got to watch all of those videos and not to mention that you implementing them. And when you implementing them, uh, you don't know if you're doing it right or wrong. And the only way you can get feedback is either uh, by asking questions in the Slack or in the, in the group. Uh, um, Facebook group. Luckily, they have a good community manager, a good community coach who can answer your questions. But sometimes that uh, that person is not there and your question is getting ghosted. Or worse, uh, you only have like five to 10 minutes on hot seat coaching pro uh, call and you watch, like, let's say you watch five videos and you have five steps to implement in your business, serious steps, and you only have 12 minutes to get your question answered from a coach who doesn't even know your business, who doesn't even know what your unique problem is. Like, does it sound familiar? Let me know in the comments if it does. Let me know if it, in the comments if it does, because it, it is familiar to me. And I'm not saying that group coaching program is bad or it's not the right fit. This is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that in order to find the right mentor for you, first of all, you need to diagnose your problem. You need to understand what you do you need help with. Is it your messaging? If it is your messaging, if it is your messaging working in a group container, may not be beneficial for you a hundred percent because your messaging is unique to you. Your messaging is unique to your style. Your messaging is unique to your brand. Your messaging is unique to you. And without looking at your business, without looking at your offer, I mean, like 12 minutes high seat coaching uh, call with your coach won't fix the problem. And in fact, you you don't get hot seat coaching call every single week sometimes. Like maybe you 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 have like, I don't know, like two or three calls per month with hot seat at a different capacity. And in fact, sometimes that hot seat coaching call is not even with a program coach. It is or with a with a head coach with the CEO who you sign up for is probably with other people. And that may, you may or may not know. You may or may not be being introduced during promotional period, during launch, during podcast launch, during, you know, all the episodes. You see the person, you like the person, you bought the program because you want to work with that person. And all of a sudden, that person shows up only once a month. I mean, WTF? I digress. Listen, I digress. Um, but if, if if your problem is a messaging, then you need to work with a private uh, coach, with a private consultant, with a private mentor who can look at your business and help you with your messaging directly. Direct, like this is my opinion. 
like it can be a part of the group coaching program it can be like one-on-one -on -one coaching but the, like the, the, this is essential because also messaging is so intimate when we when we composing our messaging a lot of our like mindset shit will come out and sometimes like it is like what is messaging messaging is when we talk to our audience at their level of awareness about the problem that they have and how we can fix the problem when we talk about their problem sometimes we get we get it twisted and we start talking about our problem and when we start talking about our problem they don't hear us because we're not talking to ourselves we're talking to them and when we're not talking to them when, when they do not hear us they do not book calls with us that's the messaging so this is why one-on-one -on -one is important also, if you have problem with closing people on the call, let's say people book calls with you, but they don't close on like on the call and they ghost you. Then again, it's not about watching another video how to do high ticket closure. It's about somebody sitting down with you and practicing with your consultative sales. This episode is sponsored by my private business mentorship program, Heart and Profit Mentorship Program. Uh, to find out more, uh, go to the description or show notes for this episode, find the link to schedule a call, fill out the form, and send me a DM so I can tell you more about the program or just send me a DM on LinkedIn or Instagram and let's chat. Okay, back to the show. And this is what I love doing with my clients. Also, building your authority. And again, building your authority piece, right? Building your authority piece is through creating long form content uh, appropriately by uh, appropriate to the level of awareness of your audience. And your audience is either problem unaware, problem aware, solution aware, product aware, and the most aware right where they're at. Because a lot of a lot of coaches they start with solution aware. Like, this is why you should, I don't know, hire a resume writer. This is why you should meditate. This is why you should, like, do my, my mindful eating, whatever the solution is. This is why you should start working with HTML. It's a programming language, one of my clients is Tech Mentor. This is why you should start doing ui kit for ios mobile development right and people are like oh that's cool but why like it's it, it, it just flies by right like this is a part of your messaging also how do you communicate that message because elevated buyer if you like if you if you are selling your uh program at the higher price they need like they need long form content they need long form content YouTube, podcasts, live streams, like, and listen, also, it's not one size fits all. Like, I work with my clients very closely, very intimately to help them to identify that revenue. Like, what will be their revenue? Listen, my golden ticket, my golden ticket is LinkedIn and YouTube. It's a golden ticket ticket but it's not golden ticket one size fits all i will interview you and say okay what works for you right now and if absolutely nothing in the world works for you right now let's start with a golden ticket and and test the golden ticket and see if it works we're going to talk about testing a little bit later like literally in a few minutes so like th like th that that is where one-on-one -on -one mentorship can help building your authority for example how do you know that you built your authority for example with my clients all of my clients book speaking engagements all of them and when i speak when i talk about speaking engagements it's anything from big and mid-sized conferences to small podcast and when i work with my clients i tell them don't be hungry for big stages be hungry for very intimate communities where you can g come and present and create connections. This is important. This is 
needle moving activity. Big conference may not bring you big clients. Let's be honest. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. For my client, medium sized conference brought him a lot of consulting clients. It did. But it's like, again, how do you build your authority? And this, this is something like private mentorship can help. And um, another thing, uh, how, like, overall, like, how do you, like, how do you combine everything together? Because sometimes it is like, uh, you, you, you might know the right strategy. You might know the right strategy. You already been through a coaching program. You don't need another strategy. You don't need another course to watch. Because like at this stage in my business and through so many coaching programs, like I think I'm going to puke. I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to be sick if I need to watch another module. I need to find a private advisor who will sit down with me and work with me because a lot of that it's also mindset work i'm a clinical psychologist by trade i don't do therapy in traditional sense but what i do i do a lot of mindset work with my entrepreneurs because a lot of the time it's not just this it's not that you don't miss you, that you don't know the strategy is that you're getting in your own way in your own head and sometimes life gets so hard that you need just somebody to talk to and your therapist may not be the person who can understand what you're going through because your therapist is not building a business because your therapist works at nine to five and they just not like, yeah, entrepreneurship can be stressful. And I'm saying that just from experience because like I had a therapist who was not an entrepreneur. And when we're talking about that, that was mismatched. Like it was so foreign for him and he was... He was an amazing therapist, and if you're watching it, listen, I appreciate your services, but it is important to talk to a professional who understands what you're going through, and you're going through a lot. Also, with the private mentorship, sometimes you need to make adjustments. Like, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs who, are, who have families, who have children. Like, one of my clients had to be on the paternity leave. Father had a baby, had to be on the paternity leave, and we had to arrange that at no cost for him and also deliver amazing results, managing his energy as he is providing for his family. That's what private mentorship is. So... Another thing I want to talk, I want to touch on another thing. So we, we, we talked about how people get results. People start working with me. Uh, um, they book speaking engagements. They uh, close more people on the call. Like it's all amazing. But let's talk about why coaching mentorship at any capacity may not work for you. The number one, pri the number one, Corporate. The number one reason is because you are not coachable. This is what I mean by that. When your coach tells you to do something and you say, mm, I don't think it's going to work. Without testing, you assign the level of difficulties and the level of efficacy without testing. This is not being coachable. Just because you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it not, it's not going to work. It's a different it's a it's a different story if you start working within after 30 days you come back to your coach and say hey I'm doing it for 30 days it's not working this is like you collecting the data you are doing research and development and instead of blaming your coach say hey your shit is not working and say hey how do I make this work is it even the right approach for my offer is it even the right path for me how do I make this work? This is what I did. This is the data. Where do I go wrong? Like, oh, maybe don't do, I don't know, Instagram. Maybe do exact same thing for on uh, LinkedIn. And just because I'm a man of science, just do like side by side. See which performs better. 
But for like LinkedIn, in order to perform better, you should engage, grow your network, all that, all, all that jazz. Oh, okay, let's test it out. Boom, LinkedIn works. Uh, let's try YouTube. Okay, 30 days, YouTube doesn't work. Okay, like, have you adjusted your titles? Have you adjusted your description? Have you promoted your YouTube videos? Oh, no, okay. Promote your YouTube videos for the next 30 days on your uh, most successful social media platforms. Boom, it works. Research and development. Nobody books, like I do all of the above. Nobody books calls with me. I'm like, okay, it's your messaging. What are you exactly saying? And I'm I'm going to be all over your social media. Like, oh, look, listen. I mean, no wonder like that. Like, I don't think the language that you're using is resonating with your audience. Like, tell me about your audience again. Like, who is your who? And also, like, sometimes you assume, you know, like, oh, like, I remember one of my clients said, like, I know my client, Eugene, like, I need to make money, like, right about now, I don't need to dive deeper into my ideal qualified customer. Like, no, you do. If you, if you knew that, like, you would already have clients. You don't have the clients because you don't have conversations with your potential clients. You have conversations with wrong people. Because exactly you don't know your client. So if you don't know your client, it's about doing market research. It's about like, listen, it's too early to sell. I mean, you can sell, but it's too early to sell. It's like, let's have a conversation. The reason coaching may not work for you because you may be impatient or you might be in the wrong container. Again, at the beginning, I also said that if you are in a container that doesn't fit your needs, you don't, you're not getting the results. A group coaching program, like standard group coaching program with a course and with hot seat coaching, is not for everyone. For some people, it works. For some people, it doesn't. If it didn't work for you before, Try private mentorship. Try pri like private one-on-one -on -one mentorship with a, with a coach who or with a mentor who can look at your business. That's my recommendation. And be patient with yourself, with the process, and enjoy the process. It's not about it's not about getting rich quick. Listen, I have an invitation for you. If you're looking for a mentor who will look at your business, who will do business with you and work with you on your business, what I mean by that, like I will review your copies. I will review your sales goals. I will do role plays with you. I will work on your messaging and on your positioning so you can sell more, so you can attract more people. You can book speaking engagement. You can book, uh, you can build your authority. If this is what you're looking for, book a call with me. Who this is for? This is for service providers. You provide a service. Like you might be a mentor, advisor. You provide a service. You provide coaching. You provide mentorship. You are selling high ticket offer. Majority of my clients sell anything from $2,500 and $3,000. You are selling high ticket offer already, or you are willing to think about how to bring that to life. What that business model specifically for you would look like. That would be a great, great fit for you. So what else? You are serious about your business. Listen, I'm not working with entrepreneurs who are not quite sure if the business is for them or like, you know, like kind of want to try it out and see where it goes. I, I want to work with like I'm a serious business owner. This is how I eat. I want to work with other. Like, listen, if you're building site hustle, it's OK, but be serious about your site hustle. You can build million dollar site hustle, but please be serious about site hustle. Who this is not for? This is not for if you don't know what business you want to run. This is not for if you are looking for a quick fix. 
this is not for if you're not sure if you're going to run your business or if you're going to go to corporate or if you're going to go to school, if you're going to do anything else, if you're undecisive. This is not for just for curious people. It's for serious people, serious entrepreneurs. This, this is who this is for. So book a call with me. If, you, if you're listening to it and like, yeah, like that sounds like me, book a call with me. Uh, there will be a short form because, listen, I want to make sure that you are the right person to talk to. And I want you to make sure that I am the right person for you to talk to. This is why I put together a form that you're going to fill out. I'm going to look at it. If it is the right fit, we're going to talk. If you're going you, you're gonna to look at it, you're going to answer the question. So like, mm, if it is the right fit, we're going to talk. It's a two-way street. All right, book a call with me and later.